good. These guys. After an all night negotiating session led by Biden administration officials, railroad workers, and management have come to an agreement, heading off a potential strike, a cause for celebration at the White House. So I thank the unions and the rail companies for negotiating in good faith. They went up for 20 straight hours to that negotiation and, uh, and for sticking with it, especially over the last few days. In fact, the negotiators here today, I don't think they've been to bed yet. A strike or lockout by management could have had a crippling effect on the U.S. economy, snarling already strained supply chains. A key sticking point for the union was the right to take unplanned time off to deal with doctor's appointments and other personal matters. A new agreement addresses those concerns and gives workers a 24% pay raise over a five-year period. What seemed like a major political liability by the White House Wednesday is now viewed as a win heading into the congressional midterm elections. U.S. President Joe Biden has closely allied himself with labor unions, but was wary of a strike that could have damaged the U.S. economy. This agreement allows us to continue to rebuild a better America with an economy that truly works for working people and their families. Today is a win, and I mean this sincerely, a win for America. So I want to thank you all for getting this done, both business and labor. The union membership will still have to vote on the agreement, but they've agreed to not go on strike as the votes are being tallied. That means the trains will keep rolling. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.